Hi guys, this is Mike here at Mac Observer, and today I'll show you how to downgrade Mac OS Sonoma to Mac OS Ventura. Apple's annual release of beta versions of its forthcoming operating systems is a strategic move, offering developers an opportunity to get their apps ready, while beta testers provide their crucial feedback and identify any hitches. Among these, the Mac OS Sonoma developer beta is a freebie, allowing Mac aficionados early access to a plethora of innovations even before they hit the mainstream market. Nonetheless, some who have taken the leap and tested the Mac OS Sonoma beta on their Mac might want to downgrade to Ventura. There is, fortunately, a simple method to achieve this. Unfortunately, it will require erasing your storage device. When diving into the world of beta versions, one must brace for a potential whirlwind of instability. There's a likelihood of encountering disruptive Mac OS glitches that can tarnish the otherwise pristine Mac user experience. These bug-related hurdles can impede your workflow, leading you to want to downgrade from the Mac OS Sonoma beta. A consensus in the tech community says you should only install Apple's beta software on a secondary Mac, a device that isn't pivotal to your day-to-day -day operations. That being said, if you've already taken the plunge and now want out of the dangerous waters, we've got your back. To uninstall the Mac OS Sonoma beta, you'll need to put your Mac into Mac OS recovery mode. Make no mistake though, this journey purges your Mac of its data. Before you installed the beta, Apple and others highlighted the need for a time machine backup of your data. This will be vital to restoring your Mac to the previous stable version of Mac OS without losing your important files. If you've worked on important files since installing the beta, it will be crucial that you copy them to an external drive. Otherwise, they'll be lost in the downgrade. After the downgrade from the beta, any files you've saved to an external drive can be conveniently retrieved. Bear in mind that any unsecured data faces the guillotine, resulting in permanent loss. Once you're ready to uninstall the Mac OS Sonoma beta, you'll need to boot your Mac into its recovery mode. Remember that an active Wi-Fi connection is a prerequisite, necessary to retrieve the older Mac OS version via internet recovery. To boot into Mac OS recovery, follow this sequence. Shut down your Mac by accessing the Apple menu and choosing Shutdown Shutdown. Wait for the shutdown process to complete. For Apple Silicon Macs, press and hold the power button until you see the startup options. For Intel Macs, power up the machine, keeping CMD plus R pressed. Proceed by clicking Options Continue. Choose your user account, key in your password, and you'll soon be in Mac OS recovery mode. Click on Disk Utility Continue. Select Macintosh HD from the sidebar, followed by clicking Erase twice. Confirm by clicking Erase Mac and Restart. After your Mac reboots, you'll enter Recovery Assistant. Follow the on-screen instructions to connect to your network and activate your Mac. Next, choose Exit to Recovery. Finally, click Reinstall Mac OS Ventura and follow the on-screen instructions to download and install Mac OS Ventura. Once your Mac completes the installation, the setup assistant will take over. You'll have the option to restore from your time machine backup now. The Mac OS Sonoma is definitely a robust enhancement, with its beta version offering users an exclusive sneak peek while enabling them to identify any teething issues. However, Apple's beta version might not suit all, particularly those who lean heavily on specific apps' flawless functioning. Cheer up though, the process to strip away the Mac OS Sonoma beta from your Mac isn't as daunting as you might think. Essentially, it's all about wiping your Mac clean and restoring it to its former glory. And if you've been a fan of Time Machine backups or utilize iCloud, this task will feel like a walk in the park. Don't forget to like and subscribe at Mac Observer for more intuitive guides, tips, and Apple news. This is Mike here. See you next time.